Welcome to Living Marvelously with me, Lori Jonas. This is the show where we unleash the marvelous potential in every woman. Are you ready to dream big and leap into a life you love? Don't let the expectations of others choose for you. Step out of your comfort zone and learn how to create what your life looks like. I'll take you on an inspirational journey, helping you tap into the wellspring of your inner strength, get clear on your life purpose, and unleash the vision you came into the world to share. On Living Marvelously, you will learn about personal development, self-care, and spirituality. And together, we will connect with others, sharing their unique energies, and learn to create a world that allows everyone to shine. Living Marvelously starts now. Hello, everyone. I'm Lori Jonas, and you are listening to Living Marvelously with Lori Jonas on Transformation Talk Radio. Stay with me for the next 30 minutes as we discuss how to use the law of attraction every day. Be sure to join me every second and fourth Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we will have some great discussions on how to create your fun, adventurous, empowering, loving, and beautiful life. So thank you for watching and listening. I, I hope you've enjoyed your last two weeks. I was able to take a quick trip to Tucson with my husband to visit our youngest son. I live in Minnesota, so the warm sun felt so good <laughs> on my face. Although here in Minnesota, we have been having a pretty mild winter, so I can't complain too much. But as I mentioned today, I want to talk to you about how to use the law of attraction every day. How to use the power of your mind and the universe to create the beautiful life that you desire. You might not believe that the law of attraction can be easy to use, so let's discover a few ways to make it easy. One of the things that I have been mulling around in my mind lately is how to make what I talk about normal. Like how to make what some people call woo-woo more personal and practical. So that's my goal for today. I don't, I want you to, when you hear about spirituality or the law of attraction or intentions or higher self or any of those things that I like to share about, I don't want you to like cower back and think, oh, I can't touch that because somebody is going to judge me for believing in something that they can't see, right? I want it to become more personal to you because that's the only way, and I'm going to mention this over and over again, the only way you know that it works is when you have an experience with it and when you feel it work. So let's make it personal for you. But let's start today with talking about the what is the law of attraction. So I was doing some research um, for a blog post a few years ago, and I found three different definitions that I really like uh, around the law of attraction. So from the website, www.thelawofattraction.com, it says that the law of attraction is the ability to attract into our lives whatever we are focusing on. And in basic terms, all thoughts turn into things eventually. If you focus on negative doom and gloom, you will remain under that cloud. If you focus on positive thoughts and have goals that you aim to achieve, you will find a way to achieve them with massive action. Life is a blank canvas of possibility. You are in control of what the finished picture could look like. I like that. According to Amazing Journey Coaching, which is my sister's coaching practice, the law of attraction is based on the fact that the universe is simply vibrational energy in motion. Emotions, thoughts, feelings, and objects, absolutely everything has a vibrational frequency. And since like attracts like, it is only logical that the vibrational frequency of your predominant thoughts will attract results that have a similar vibrational frequency. And then the following is from the book, The Essential Law of Attraction Collection by Esther and Jerry Hicks. I love them. And if you ever just want to get a good like motivational burst to your day, go to YouTube and look up um, uh, Hicks, Abraham Hicks. Go look up Abraham Hicks videos. There's so many that are pretty short that just make you feel really good and ready to go take on the day. But anyway, here back to the law of attraction uh, definition. Not only is the law of attraction the most powerful law in the universe, but you must understand it before anything else that we offer will be of value. And you must understand it before anything you are living or anything you observe, anyone else living, will make any sense. 
Everything in your life and the lives of those around you is affected by the law of attraction. It is the basis of everything that you see manifesting. It is the basis of everything that comes into your experience. An awareness of the law of attraction and an understanding of how it works is essential to living life on purpose. In fact, it is essential to living the life of joy that you came forth to live. So how does that sound to you? Still sound a little woo-woo? <laughs> you might not believe it actually works, but it does. And there's a lot of quantum physics behind the law of attraction. The principles of quantum physics state that the en that everything is energy. We talked about this last week when we were um, accessing our higher self. And your thoughts are energy vibrations similar to a radio frequency. When you set the dial, you hear what you asked for. And when you focus on a particular thought over and over, you can create new neural pathways in your mind to literally change it. So the more time you dedicate to learning how to use the law of attraction every day and effectively, the more fulfilling and rewarding your life can be. So you need to see yourself as a magnet, attracting the essence of what you are thinking and feeling. And you are the only one who can tell if it works. It's your experiences that will make you want to learn and experiment more. So, okay, time to dive into the 13 ways to use the law of attraction every day. Set a specific intention. Number one, it's essential to be focused and clear on what you want. We talked about this last week when we were downloading our dream life, when we were deciding, we were, we were figuring out what it is we truly want. And when I say focused and clear on what you want, it doesn't always have to be a certain object or a certain thing that you're looking for. It could just be a feeling or it could just be, I want today to be easy. But everything that happens in the universe starts with an intention. So fix your mind on what you desire. Keep your intentions positive. You need to believe in your intention and know that it will come become a reality. All right, number two, write down and say affirmations that fit with what you hope to manifest. Here are a few examples. This is the part where I talked about how when you repeat things over and over, you create new neural pathways, and that's where affirmations come in. So if you use affirmations, you write them down every day, you write them down, you know, put them in places so that you can read them every day, that's changing your neural pathways in your mind. Here's a few examples. I am taking good care of my mental and physical health. I am overflowing with happiness, joy, and satisfaction. The universe is creating opportunities for me to earn more and more money. I see success and abundance everywhere. Today, I lay the foundation for a wonderful future. I have all I need to make today a great day. I project love and kindness to others. They're pretty simple. You can create your own. Anything that kind of goes around what you're looking for in your life. Number three, live as if. Whatever you wish for in your life, act as if you already have it. If you want to get a promotion at work, maybe you should start dressing the part of what somebody in that promotion would wear to work or start learning the skills that you would need to do that job well. If you want to lose weight, act as if you're already healthy. Eat the right foods, move more, wear the clothes you want to wear, do the things that you want to do. Take purposeful action. Take whatever baby steps lead you in the direction of what you desire. Number four, let go of negative influences in your life. If you have friends that do not support your dreams, maybe you need to spend less time with them. Don't let others tell you what you can or can't do. We're going to talk about some other laws of attraction, laws of the universe um, in the second half of the show, but one of them is about influence. So, so you know when you're in a group of people that have a negative or a positive effect on you. So try to do less with the people that bring you down and don't make you want to go after those dreams and think positively, be positively about what you actually want in your life. Number five. Don't beat yourself up for thinking negatively. Just let it pass and slowly bring more kindness into your thoughts. Use those negative thoughts to draw attention to what you don't want, right? So use it as a stepping stone to what you will do want and then focus on that. So if you're consistent, consistently having negative thoughts, thinking that, oh, just as an example, maybe you've been having a lot of bad luck lately. So that's a negative. So instead of 
continually talking about bad luck. We need to let that pass. Okay, no more. I'm not having any more bad luck. You need to turn it around. So draw attention to what you do want. You want good luck. You want fun things to come into your life. You want the universe to bring you things that create a more positive life. So start talking in those terms instead. Number six, eat consciously. Give thanks for your food. Chew slowly, make an effort to really taste it and pay attention to what your body is telling you and stop eating when you are full. And what does this have to do with the law of attraction? Really, it's 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 setting some intentions around how you are treating yourself, how you are giving yourself self-care, how you are telling the universe that I care about me and I care about my body and I want that to be part of my dreams. So eating consciously, and I'm going to think I'm going to talk about moving more too, just moving your body so that you are taking care of it and you're doing the things that you need to do to, to be appreciative of being here and alive every day. Visualize number seven. Every morning, visualize how you want your day to go. And every night, visualize a successful tomorrow. You can make vision boards that you can look at daily to remind you of what you want to attract in your life. Some people don't believe that vision boards work, but they they really do. And it's not even just, you're not necessarily going to get exactly what the picture you find to put on your vision board, but you're going to get the feeling of what you are looking for from those pictures on the vision board. Maybe it doesn't look exactly the same, but if you you you'll know when you've arrived to how you want to feel, maybe it's on a vacation somewhere, maybe it's in a new environment, maybe it's with a new form of transportation, whatever it is, you're going to know when you feel it. Number 8. Always focus on what you have and what you want. Never focus on what you lack. This is going to come up over and over and over again. And if you are, notice it and turn it around. Instead of focusing on what you're lacking, focus on what you have. Number nine, pay attention to what you are attracting. So if it is what you want, do more of that. If you're starting to bring in some things that you're dreaming about, Keep doing what you're doing. But if it's not what you want, sort of tweak your thoughts, get more specific. Know that you are the creator and controller of your life and always be aware of what you're creating, right? So you're creating your life based on your thoughts. And so if what you have going on in your life isn't what you want, you need to change those thoughts. Uh, 10. Be grateful for the abundance in your life and more will come. If you want to attract more money, be thankful for a lot, all that you have. And even make a plan to donate money. Be thankful for what you have and be willing to give it. And when you give others money, you tell the universe that you are wealthy, that I have money to give and then more will keep coming back to you. Number that that's one of the ones that people kind of I think get a little thinking it's a little woo woo, but that's but I also believe that that that's one of the experiences you have to experience. Uh, all right, number eleven. To do one more before we go to break. Know that there's enough in abundance in the world for everyone. Never think you can't have something because you absolutely can. Not everyone is wishing or dreaming about the same things. You don't have to worry about taking them from somebody else. By attracting abundance to yourself, you are not limiting somebody else. There is enough for everyone. All right, we need to go to break, but I have two more, 12 and 13. And then I want to share seven sub laws of the law of attraction that might help you understand it even better. So stay tuned and we will be right back. We are back on Living Marvelously with me, Lori Jonas. We are talking about ways that you can use the law of attraction every day. So 
I got to number 11. So I want to start this second half with number 12. Question what you believe. Make sure that your beliefs match what you want to attract in your life. If you want to attract a partner, you must believe that you are beautiful and worthy of one. Most of your beliefs were probably learned from someone else, but you have the power to change them. If what you want in your life, secretly you're thinking that you're not, you can't have it because of some belief somebody told you at some point in your life, you need to be aware of those and we need to start turning those around and then you can manifest so much faster what you want. Number 13, when you talk about yourself, make sure your words match how you want to live. So pay attention to what you are saying throughout the day. Try to catch yourself when you say something contrary to what you want and then change that thought. And it's not always about how you look. It could be you're at work and somebody is trying to teach you something and you say, oh, I'm so dumb, I'll never get this. Don't catch yourself when you do that. Don't say that. No, just, just say, okay, I'm learning. I'm starting to understand. There's different ways of doing that and it will become it'll come easier. So those are the 13 ways to use law of attraction every day. I hope you got something from those that can help you. Um the law of attraction can get a bad rap, right? Because it's it sounds too woo-woo. But what's important to note is that it's not just about saying you want something and then getting it. You have to believe in it. You have to take baby steps in that direction. And that's how the universe knows what you want. And so that they can bring more possibilities to you. So I want you to think, is there any time that the law of attraction has worked for you? Now that you know a little bit more about it, can you think of some things that have come into your life that you've wanted and how did you think about them before they came into your experience? So those experiences, those um, ways of, that have um, already happened in your life are what's going to keep you going to start believing and to do more and more and more of attention setting and putting putting what you want out into the universe. All right, so now that you know a little more about what the universal law of attraction is, and you know that it is always working, it's always working, whether you believe it or not. So if you don't believe it, it's still working. So you might as well be aware of it and make it work for you. But did you know that there are seven laws of attraction that explain it further? I didn't know that until recently. So let's go over these seven laws of attraction. They're, they're, they all, all interweave, but they're kind of fun. So let's start with the first one, the law of manifestation. We are always manifesting. As Mike Dooley says, thoughts become things. What you think every day will manifest in your life. And for a simple example, if you wake up in the morning excited about the day and thanking the universe for another day to do what you love, you will likely have a good day. If you wake up in the morning grumpy and having to go to work, grumpy about having to go to work, worried about everything you have to do, still mad at your partner about something that happened last night, but you will most likely have a bad day. So when you do have bad days, Think back to what you were thinking most of the day to prove this point. So if you're having a bad day, a lot everything, a lot of things come back to awareness. You just have to be aware of where you're at. If you are having a bad day, don't continue to have a bad day and mope about it and be blame other people for what's happening in your life. Just be aware. Mm, I'm not having a very good day. Where's my head at? Where am I? What am I thinking? And try to turn it around. And sometimes the law of attraction is considered this one subset of uh, the laws of the universe, but there's more. The second law is the law of magnetism. So we've talked about this too. Everything in the world is energy. Whatever energy frequency you are sending out is what is being drawn back to you like a magnet. I wrote an article on the emotional guidance scale as explained by Abraham Hicks in the book, Ask and It is Given. 
But at the top end of the scale are the emotions joy, love, positive expectations, passion, and appreciation. So when you're in those feelings, when you're feeling good, you're doing something you love, you're you have hope for the future, you're you appreciate everything that you already have. When you're at that level of energetic frequency, you're attracting more of that back to you. Suppose you're hanging out on the bottom half of the scale, which would be emotions like fear, jealousy, unworthiness, guilt, anger. When you're hanging out down there, you're attracting that type of energetic frequency back to you. So the goal is to work your way up the scale to find the emotional alignment that you want to be in. The third law is the law of unwavering desire. Put a laser-like focus on what you want. Let go of all the doubts, insecurities, and feelings of unworthiness. Let those go. Leave the things that you don't want behind you. This doesn't mean you can't change your mind or change course, but focus on your goal and assume it is coming true or that it already is true. Acting as if, one of those 13 uh, ways we talked about earlier. Because the universe doesn't judge. They will give you what you desire. And think about whether it is what you truly want or not. Don't give the universe the wrong idea of what you want. The law of delicate balance. The, the delicate balance here is knowing that you want more in your life but at the same time, being grateful and appreciative of what you already have. This is another, uh, really, I really enjoyed reading about this one because as I mentioned, some of the ways to use the law of attraction every day, we're, to, we're, we're being appreciative of what we already have, even though we want more. So that's where this delicate balance comes in. When you keep a gratitude journal when you write down three things you are grateful for every day you express to the universe feelings of appreciation joy and love and like i just talked about those feelings are at the top of that emotional scale so it's magnetically bringing more of that back to you and then right after you write down what you're grateful for write down your daily affirmations those statements affirm what you want as if you already have it so that's the delicate balance. You're appreciating what you have, but you're still um, wanting more. And you are writing down affirmations that say, I, uh, so let's, let's see, how can I say this? So you're grateful for what you already have. So I'm grateful right now for my beautiful home, my beautiful family. I love my work, but I still want to do more with living marvelously. So my affirmation might be, my clients are flowing in. I have a waiting list for my clients, you know, affirmations that show what I really want. Hopefully that makes sense, but that's the delicate balance. The law of harmony. So being in a state of flow or alignment with the universe will, will guide you to what you most desire. I wrote an article, again, what, called It's Time to Get Back into Spiritual Alignment. And I wrote, being aligned means you are authentic, who you were meant to be. When you are aligned and doing what you love, things become easy. And instead of chasing your dreams, your dreams come to you. Alignment to me means matching who you want to be with who you are. And you can probably see by now, as I said, that all of these seven laws of attraction work together to create this universal law of attraction. So there's some few ways to get into spiritual alignment. And I have more in an article that I wrote called It's Time to Get Back into Spiritual Alignment. But get clarity on what makes you happy and what brings you joy. Set goals based on that. Ask for guidance from your higher spirit. Let go of your ego. Your ego is the part of you that is trying too hard to be the best. Comparing and letting others decide what makes you happy and sad. Instead, listen to your soul, the part of you that is your spirit, essence, and authentic self, and be of service to others. 
two more laws, the law of right action. This is the first law that talks about action. It's not all about what you are thinking and feeling. You actually have to take some action. So you've heard of karma. It's a spiritual law of cause and effect. When you're doing things for others, you will get kindness back. So when you're doing the right things, you're going to get that back to you. The law of influence. This one reminds me of the pay it forward philosophy and the power of prayer. When your vibrational energy is positive, joyful, and loving, that impacts everyone around you. And when there's a group of people sending out that same energy, think of the impact it can have. There's so many examples of this, especially prayer. When when somebody is sick and, and they're asking for prayers, when everybody is coming together and sending love to one person, oh, just think of the impact. It just makes me shiver <laughs> to think of how, what that can do. So what you think about, you attract into your life. And sometimes it's hard to grasp all of the control we actually have to create our lives. It's easier to pretend we don't know so that we don't have to take responsibility. But once you are aware of how your thoughts, beliefs, and words create your reality, there's no one else to blame. And once you know that, you will manifest your desires faster. So I hopefully you got some great tips um, today and you can go out and use the law of attraction in your favor. And just like Maya Angelo said, when we know better, we do better. So now you have no excuse but to live the life you desire. Living Marvelously is about being your authentic self, feeling empowered to create the life you want to live and having a lot of fun along the way. If you'd like to contact me, you can go to my website, livingmarvelously.com. All my info is there, and you can sign up for my weekly newsletter. Thanks for tuning in. I will see you in two weeks. And the next time, we're going to talk about discovering your passion and creativity. Are you ready to make this time of your life a turning point rather than a crisis? Let's dive into 22 tips to help you find your passion and purpose. These insightful tips are not just guiding lights, they're practical, real world, real world solutions. So I'm excited for that one as well. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Living Marvelously with me, your host, Lori Jonas. Tune in next time to unleash the marvelous potential in every woman every second and fourth Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com as I help you choose a life that you are passionate about. Learn to embrace your unique self, dream big, and leap into what you choose to have your marvelous life look like. Together we create a world that allows everyone to shine. For more information, visit LivingMarvelously.com. That's LivingMarvelously.com. See you next time on Living Marvelously.